Bring in two House Republicans for their reaction to today's big news on the FISA memo. Joining me now are North Carolina Republican Congressman Mark Meadows and Ohio Republican Congressman Jim Jordan, both from the House Freedom Caucus. And yes, it is now true, even on set. Jim Jordan refuses <laughs> to wear a suit <laughs> coat. <laughs> My grandmother will say, why doesn't that young man wear a suit coat? <laughs> All right, uh, let me start with th this simple question. It's not unusual for the FBI to use oppo. Um, the Clinton cash book um, it was reportedly used to launch um, to help with an FBI investigation in Uranium One and the Clintons. What, what makes the use of the Steele dossier wrong? Jim sure. Comey said it was salacious, unverified. He said parts of it. By the way, salacious, he said parts were unverified. Hang under on. oath. Parts were confirmed. Parts were salacious and unverified. That does matter. That's specifically unverified. Matters. They Go took ahead. it to a secret court to get a secret warrant to spy on a fellow American citizen, and they didn't do it once. They didn't do it twice. They didn't do it three times. They did it four times. Four times they took this dossier and dressed it all up like it was some legitimate intelligence. Take it to a court to spy on an American. Four different times they did that. Not telling the court that it was paid for by the Clinton campaign. You do not, that's why Mark said what he did on the House floor. You are not supposed to do it that way in this great country. You, that, that, that is a fact, four times, um, right. Congressman Meadows. Right. But the way FISA courts work, it was four different federal judges, number one. Number two, in order to get the renewal, you have to show that the wire had had shown something. There's nothing in this memo to indicate that that wasn't the you case. You have to show additional information. That's right. So let's be clear about it. So to every, get four times, they clearly got new information. Well, part of that new information was was information that Steele leaked to Yahoo News, and they used that as justification. So it's one source, whether it's a dossier or a Yahoo News report, to justify spying on Americans. You wouldn't do that in your journalism. You make sure you double source okay. everything. Did you and so read the entire FISA application? Uh, we're not allowed to. We're not allowed to. I asked Christopher Ray that. Oh. Show us the application. Show us the material you put in. Uh, and, okay. and we're perfectly we're willing to. Trey Gowdy has. Yeah. Right? I believe it. Yeah. Trey yeah. Gowdy and Adam Schiff apparently and, and are the ones that And Trey Gowdy has actually draft this memo. But, and so, but Trey Gowdy doesn't seem to be saying what you two are saying about it. He stands behind the, the memo. Process. He stands behind the memo. Right. And we actually had the FBI come in over the weekend and says, is there anything factually inaccurate in this memo? And there was nothing factually inaccurate. Now, you can have the Democrats say, well, we wouldn't have told the story that way or we would have told it a different way, but nothing factually inaccurate. And I've read the Democrat memo, and I can tell you that even in the Democrat memo, it does not suggest that there's anything factually inaccurate in the four pages that you've read. Okay. Okay, let me ask you this. What about Carter Page shouldn't have raised suspicions by the FBI? So here you have, they have on again, off again, this guy's on their radar. Um, lo and behold, he shows up again, this time in, in an outside uh, it, oppo intelligence report and all this. It, they had already dealt with him earlier. I, that's what the FBI does. It's an investigative tool. It doesn't mean that they know he's guilty of anything, but Boy, he seems to be acting suspiciously. Sir, you look at his actions, there's a lot of suspicious activity with them, is there yeah, not? But, but Andrew McCabe, in the memo itself, says the dossier was the basis for going to get the warrant. It wasn't Carter say, Page. It wasn't Carter Page. Without, wasn't, let me ask you this. Here's what's missing in that part, according to the Democratic memo, and you, you tell me, which is... So you've read the Democratic you can't, memo? I only have the highlights, unfortunately, well. because you guys haven't released it to the public. <laughs> but let me ask you this. Uh, the allegation is this. Yes, Andrew McCabe said that. But he also said they didn't have enough... W Either part wasn't enough, but together it was enough. They bootstrapped this dossier up. This is like we said this months ago. We believe they did it, and this memo now shows they did it. The facts now demonstrate that they bootstrapped this dossier up into legit intelligence to go get a warrant. And as I said okay. before, they so did it four the times. But when is the dossier? Let me ask you this. Has the dossier viewers, been? Viewers, hold on, Chuck. Your viewers. The dossier is just not fully think, confirmed, but it's don't not you been think totally your discredited. Your viewers would believe that a judge making the critical decision on whether to spy on an American should know whether the Democrats were paying right. for a particular opposition research. Don't you think that that would be a material fact? I, I, Most I, of prosecutors would agree I, that when you go right. in to ask for a warrant, you've got to give them both the good and the bad. There, in terms not. Of so you don't believe political, I believe they said there was a political uh, there was context. a political uh, context to do it. Well, yeah, you don't well, see that I mean, as enough? Well, I mean, obviously... <laughs> I'm just asking you, know, you if well, you don't. Obviously, everything that was done was a political context. It was done in the but context there, of a there presidential were no campaign. political specifics okay. that were offered, Jim. Let me ask you this. Why should the American people look at a memo that alleges, essentially, partisanship drove an FBI investigation when it was written in a very, and released, 
and sort of hyped in a very partisan manner. Take it in the broader. Go ahead, Mark. No, well, I think one of the, the key. Questions I mean, isn't that a problem? You and I have been together before. Part of that is Peter Strzok, the head investigator, right. and his text messages. It's obvious right. that he was part. Take it in context. Lisa Page, who was uh, an attorney for part of the investigation, obviously partisan. So when you add all of that together, it has a partisan tone. And what we're saying, Jim and I have been saying for six months, let's get a, a so special a counsel a to investigate. Counsel. If a partisan sees a crime being a political a crime being committed they should be discounted as well. No, 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 but, I, but I, that's where we're go but are we going go down to get that road? a warrant, you need to give all the facts. And so when a warrant is okay. is obtained, they say, well, this is this is the person giving us the Here's the credibility factors that you have to weigh as a judge, and yet that wasn't done. You've got lawyers on your other panel that would weigh in on that. All of that, as a prosecutor, needs to be Chuck, they didn't uh, tell him for. who paid for it. They didn't tell him about Bruce Orr's relationship with Chris Steele. They didn't tell him about his wife's relationship with Fusion GPS. That's, they didn't tell important pieces of information. They omitted important pieces of information to get a warrant to spy on a fellow citizen. That's what they did. And you know what else they didn't tell him? They didn't tell him they had terminated terminated their relationship with Christopher Steele because he was leaking to the press. So they, the, the, the three renewals they did, yeah. they didn't tell the court that pertinent the, piece of information. Do you think judges, do you think these judges, some of these renewals took place after all of this was made public? Do you think these judges live, at, stick their head in the sand and don't no, read but, newspapers? But, but here's one, one, one of the, the interesting court. things is, is no one, including you or me, knew that Christopher Steele was fired by the FBI for sharing with the media until recently. And yet three different FISA applications were renewed without that knowledge being given to the judge. Don't you think that that's a problem, Joe? What in here is what that a problem? I, I, mean, I, I don't know because I don't know what I don't problem. know. It's that's the problem. problem. Yeah. I don't know. And we, well, we, we're and obviously, all in favor of releasing everything. I, and, and here's one of the things we've been criticized, yeah. saying it didn't have footnote and sources. Well, part of that is so that you don't release your right. methods and sources but, uh, from an intel perspective. What about, what about the Mueller investigation? isn't legitimate at this point. I mean, there's plenty of suspicious activity that the Russians did. Do you guys concur with that? Do our either of you... Uh, our focus today is on the memo. No, I, but I don't... Is on what do that you memo believe shows the, about how the do you believe the process Russians, was abused by the top people? Do you believe the there's, Russians there's, tried there's two, to infiltrate there, there's our two election system? There's two different system. questions. One is, uh, was there collusion and there was no collusion? We don't know did, that. Did the, how do we know that? We do know that. How, no, 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 we don't. Well, you that's have what, Diane that's Feinstein that's come on with you that says she's seen no evidence of collusion. I, and, and that so is different. <laughs> my, my, the point is, well, she did. said, I don't see evidence. But she's a Democrat. No, my point is, that. there's a difference between Stop. saying there's no evidence yet and that we know there's nothing. I'm just saying that's uh, okay. what Mueller's investigating. There's no did evidence the yet. Russians try to influence the election? Obviously, there's evidence that would suggest that. Right. Is there collusion? There is no evidence that would suggest that. And no one's been then able to bring forth Why is the president so afraid of this investigation? Chuck, why is there so know. many efforts? You talk about coordination and Congressman Jordan, why is the president wanting to thwart the investigation? Because to date, there was no evidence showing that there was any type of coordination between the Trump campaign and Russia to influence the election. And great, then Mueller, know, will then, but, then Mueller will then find and, him not guilty. And, and, and I think that's what will happen. But, but let understand, the, let the investigation go. we know today, just as sure, sure yeah. as you and I are talking, we know that the Clinton campaign paid the law firm who paid Fusion, who paid Chris Steele, who paid Russians to do what? Influence the election. And guess what? Wait. When they went to the FISA court, they didn't share so that with you, the court. So are you alleging that, the, that you just allege that the Russians are conspiring with the Clintons? No, I'm alleging that dollars went from the Clinton campaign through the law firm Perkins Coie yeah. to Fusion GPS to Chris Steele, who most likely paid Russians to get that well, information, now you're just right? Most likely? Well, come on, what do you think he did with the cash? Like, he's got to, he's, these people are just going to volunteer information to him? Yeah. Right? He's, pay, he's a paid okay. informant, right? Paid for my Fusion GPS. So we know that took place. Okay. And they did not share the fact that the DNC was paying Fusion and paying Chris Steele but, when they took this application to the FISA court. Well, let me, that what makes. Just because something is made by a political partisan or just because somebody sees evidence that scares them and suddenly they become biased against the individual they're investigating, how does that undermine the facts that they have found? From a standpoint of the facts, it may not. But from the standpoint of a warrant to actually spy on an American citizen, it's a no-no. You just don't do that. And I understand that. And what I'm saying is, we is don't factually, know. You're alleging that the well, only information used I'm was the steel dossier, there's one, and there's no there's, evidence of that. Yet. Well, there is evidence because yeah. you know here's what we in, not only in this memo, but when you look at, at the facts. 
everything revolves around a single source, a single source that continued to put it out with multiple people to appear that there were multiple sources, but in, in, in actuality, it comes back.